checking out Porch Swing Pickings. That's a cute name. I know, they wanted to work together, which for me sounds like my personal nightmare, <laughs> okay? But you guys, Sally and Jen, a couple years ago, you thought, you know what, let's open up a store like this. And so you first originally did it in Roseville. And, and why like the vintage and sort of the upcycling of furniture? Uh, we really liked giving furniture a second life and just helping people to decorate and just get things into their homes and just have a little piece of our items in their home. You guys are very crafty. Did you get this from your mom? Yes. <laughs> I was looking at these, I said, oh, this, this is such a novel idea. They're like wine stoppers made with compasses and look how cool these are. Very she cool. makes these, Sally makes these. And so let's go through some of the things that you guys have here because a lot of this furniture, you guys have found and repurposed it. And what else do you guys do besides uh, the furniture? So um, all of the wood painted signs we create and we have a lot of other items that are created. We have some local vendors like a guy who makes cutting boards and also like wood hearts. And then we also repaint furniture and then we have some mix of vintage inspired items. It's sort of unique to be in here because all the furniture that some of the smaller items are on is also for sale. And so what, what happens if someone wants to buy this piece then you just gotta take everything off and fit, find a new place for it? Yeah, we're totally happy finding a new place for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. And so Jen helps make these signs that you can see and really you can kind of make whatever people want like if they wanted their last name on it or something if they have like custom orders can they come to you for that type of thing too yes we do make custom signs for people okay so if they if they want to do something like that how much time just because I'm thinking well Mother's Day is kind of coming up how much time do you need to be able to uh, make that happen Usually about a week or two. Okay, about how long do people spend in this store? Because there is so much to look at yeah. in such a tiny space. Um, usually people take at least two laps. Yeah. So, you know, probably 15 minutes at least. Because there's a lot of like little things too. The more you're in here, the more things you keep seeing. Like, oh my gosh. So they really have something for everyone. A lot of great gift ideas too. Uh, if you want to be able to pick something up for that. They are here in Old Town Auburn. And I was just telling them how sweet. Every time we go to Auburn, we'll just be sitting in the truck. People will come out with coffee. They're like so nice here. Which is why obviously Sally and Jen had to move and make sure that they have their spot here. Porch Swing Pickens in Auburn. So get on out here, check them out. Uh, and you guys are open at what time today? Uh, we are open 10 to 5 today. 10 to 5. And if you're wondering why I'm not talking to Sally, she said, let, oh, the phone's oh, ringing. Phone's she ringing. said, let Jen do the talking. Let Jen do the talking. That would be the opposite of my mom. She would just grab the mic. Wow. Moms know their lanes. <laughs> Thanks, Gabby. <laughs>